today we're looking at our 1250-350 two compartment monolithic tank. We are currently looking at the outlet side of the tank and we have three outlets. One down the center of the tank, then one on either side about a foot off the corners. And we label our tanks outlet so it's clearly installed hopefully properly. This uh, is a monolithic so the seam is at the very top of the tank. We use 5000 PSI concrete and we use Conceal Butyl Rubber to make the joints watertight. This is the inlet side, and just like the outlet side, we have three inlets and three outlets. We also label our tank with our name, the size of the tank, as well as its burial depth and live load capacity. And we have three covers on top of our tank because it's a two-compartment uh, two tank. On top of a two compartment tank, we have three covers to gain access. We have one cover for the inlet, one cover next to the baffle wall or partition wall, and that's also where you have a baffle, a uh, plastic baffle, and the last cover is for your outlet, where you may have a filter or a pump system. We removed both covers on the outlet side of the tank to show you the baffle as well as the outlet compartment. And you can see we have a baffle installed between the first and second compartment and that is used to separate the scum and solids and keeping that in the first compartment while grabbing clear liquid going to the second compartment. Uh, the top of our first compartment tank typically has scum and the bottom of it has solids. So you take 40% of liquid level and that's how far your baffle goes into uh, the tank compartment. Here we have um, we haven't cut it out because this tank is not installed yet, but this baffle gets uh, rubber, gets pulled out and gets cut out and you slide a four inch pipe into it and you clamp it like we showed earlier. If you come over onto this side, you can see that T that we installed just comes through the baffle wall and gets clamped there and the water will drivel from one side of the tank to the second compartment. And the theory behind that is you'll have a lot less solids before it goes off to your leach field. In the last compartment, it also is where you'd either put a pump system if you need to pump it up, or if you need to add a filter, this would be the compartment your filter would be located in typically.